too. I wasn't a perfect human being when I was a child. I was fucking crazy. I was crazy through most of my my young twenties. You know, like le legitimately crazy. Right. You know, and if you if you know you look at who you are now and who you used to be, and right. you know, there's evolution, but it, it has to be from yourself. You have to decide to do it on your own. It's right, very right, difficult. Right. You got to be objective. You're gonna have to probably do drugs. You're gonna have to fucking <laughs> find yourself for real. You need mushrooms. Well, that's what. No, what? That's you, what. You won't really get there on your own. No, what? That's what. Well, I beg to differ a little bit. I think that's what me being in isolation did for me when I was in jail makes sense because it's no like dog like you have to think you have to I mean after you after you blame the lawyers and God mm -hmm. and your parents you still got 43 days left to you fucking can blame, analyze yourself here's you know the deal man here's the deal with your life you can blame everybody for your problems in life right. and you might be right but, but can't change that right. what you can change is what you think and how you react and what power you give other people's actions and thoughts over you right you that's can, what I was saying you can as keep far as from getting pissed off at them by f using that energy for yourself using that energy for positive shit using right. that energy to try to accomplish shit like that can either that could either drive you crazy or yeah. it could make you a, a better motherfucker person. Yeah. like and that's why you know I know that I that I brought a lot of shit on myself but I'm glad that I was able to use the time that I was in jail to say, dog, you can't keep doing this dumb right. shit, man. Right. You have to try to do something, be it, be it comic. And the reason that I even bothered to think that I could be a comic is because that was one of my survivals while I was in jail. I've always been this size. So I was the guy that if somebody did something or said something, I had something quick to say mm -hmm. that kept brothers smiling. Because, dog, that's a long time to be anywhere. So just... A smile for that one day or, or like a laugh especially in jail means a whole lot more than just us talking and laughing here because dog it's a miserable existence it really is no not to say that I didn't deserve to be there but dog it's fuck it fucking sucks it's like don't let rappers fool you that shit sucks man it's nothing it's nothing hard about doing something stupid and winding up in jail it's fucking dumb it's really stupid to do something to wind up in jail and it's it's just fucking awful so Joey Diaz has the same story that when he was in jail making people laugh in jail is what got him into being a stand-up comedian right he would have they would have like show movies or something the movie would suck they'd say Coco get up there get up there and tell stories and he would get up there and he'd start making everybody laugh and that's like what what started him off on the road to being a comic well see I but then then the other part of it I also stuttered so what would happen is, like, if I said something that was slick, people would laugh, and sometimes I would try to talk and stutter, and people would laugh. So either I'm cool, you right. know what I'm saying? So, but with that, with with just that laughter, man, like laughter is something that I think that we as comics shouldn't take for granted. It's a powerful thing. Like if it if it can help somebody get through jail, like la just laughing once a day, just like, oh, that's... It's very powerful. It's a very powerful thing. And I we don't think about it because it, it seems frivolous. It seems like, oh, you're just laughing. You're silly. You're a silly person. Dog, it's, it's important for your health. It really... Mental health also. It's like, dog, some, some shit, just fucking let it ride, man. Yeah. Like, let it ride. And even with... Even with, um what I'm doing as far as comedy man it's like dog it's really cool to make people laugh like I've I've gotten to that point I've been the angry dude but now it's really cool to make people laugh man it's really fucking cool well you're pushing positive instead of negative you know that's what it is I mean you, you have to find some shitty things in your life to figure out what you don't be doing learn from your mistakes and then you move on yeah and just like just like uh, for instance and something else with being in solitary confinement is I'm not as concerned with what goes on around me as far as, the, which, which was that first statement that I was making as far as racism, but we already cleared that up. No, I, I don't care. I, I'm a country music fan. I like kind of, why, why do you like country music? No, I love, probably because I'm a drinker first, but I like, <laughs> I like country music. I don't even know why, though. I, what, I, do I you like, like I like Dwight Yoakam. I, I, I like, uh, like mostly all of it man like other than that country pop shit where you, where you got pop stars that couldn't make it as pop so they try to do country now i think that's a little bit much but other than that like straight country i love it man well i'm a big johnny cash fan but i never even think of johnny cash as being country johnny cash is like some weird white rap that's the thing. <laughs> i'd say i'm a johnny cash fan i wouldn't say i'm a country music fan but yeah, yeah. i like cash country music yeah, yeah. Favorite. Toby like, a boy named sue that's